Hello everyone and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about calculating foreign exchange. Before we delve into the calculations, I want us to recap a few concepts that are crucial um, when dealing with foreign exchange calculations. The first one is BBR. This is the bank buying rate and generally this is the rate that the bank will use when they want to buy currency from a tourist. And with BSR, which is the bank selling rate, this is the rate that the bank will use when they want to sell currency to a tourist. Bear in mind, the bank is not the only um, institution or agency that tourists can go to when they want to exchange foreign currency. As you have learned, they can go to the airport or to a bureau de change or any of the other institutions that are available for such facilities. Then ISO codes are basically the three letters um, or other letter codes for currencies depending on the country. For instance, you'll have the Canadian dollar being CAD, um, etc, etc. But we're going to have a look at um, examples of these from a currency sheet. And then lastly, inflation is basically the overall general upward um, price movement of goods and services um, in an economy. And when we talk about upward prices, it's the price increments of or how expensive goods and services become um, in an economy. And we've generally seen this um, throughout the years. Things just get, keep getting more and more expensive. So I want us to have a look at a currency sheet from APSA and right from the onset you can see that the ISO codes have been listed on the left. You've got the pound sterling having an ISO code, um, three, the three letters being GBP identifying the great British pound. You've got like I said earlier on the Canadian dollar being CAD. And generally when dealing with foreign exchange calculations, you start on your left by identifying the currency that you are working with and you make your way across to the right to the relevant column depending on whether you're dealing with traveler's checks or with notes, etc. Then the second example is just another currency sheet once again, but this one is adapted from Ned Bank. Now this one is very very nice and simple in terms of the layout and um, it's not always going to be the case. Some will look like the previous one that we just had a look at. Some will be simple um, like this one. You've got your currency, you've got your BBR and you've got your BSR. And like I said, you just basically are going to identify the currency that you're working with. That's very important. You identify the currency that you're working with and you make your way across to the right. And depending on the instruction or the scenario, you will then um, use BBR or BSR. Now, if we look at the steps um, for calculating foreign exchange, here's a model that I use and I have found to be quite simple um, in my classes and even for my students. If you are moving from a bigger currency or a big currency to a small currency, you multiply by the exchange rate. In other words, you will go to your exchange um, currency sheet table and you will identify either BSR or BBR as per the instruction and then you will multiply with this rate or by this rate. So moving from a bigger currency or a big currency to a small currency, you multiply by the exchange rate. And if you're moving from a smaller currency to a bigger currency, you divide by the exchange rate. Now, it's, it's also important to remember this. You need to look at things from a bank's perspective. And when we say bank, we're not limit, limiting it to your traditional bank. We're referring to, we are referring to any foreign exchange agency or bureau that is providing that service. So you always look, need to look at things from the bank's perspective because this is going to help you to determine whether to use BSR or BBR. So you always need to ask yourself the question, what is the financial institution doing in this particular case? In other words, what's the bank doing? Is the bank buying currency from the tourist or is the bank um, selling currency to um, the tourist? It just makes things easier if you um, and simpler if you look at it that way. 
Now, if we have a look here, we've got an example. Um, this was taken from the 2022 question paper, tourism question paper. So they say, study the information and answer the questions that follow. They give us after that a very nice, simple, straightforward currency sheet um, or currency exchange rate table. And then the first question says, a South African tourist is on his way to Italy. Um, he goes to a foreign exchange bureau at Or Tambo International Airport. And this guy has got 50,500 rand and wants to exchange this for euro. Um, and they say, calculate how many euros um, he will have when he does this. The second question says, he comes back from his trip to South, back to South Africa and goes back to the foreign exchange bureau at Oratambo International Airport to exchange the 200 euro that he has left from his trip. Then we have to convert that to rand because they ask how much will he receive in rands. Now, before we even look at the solution, remember, moving from a big currency to a small currency, we multiply by the exchange rate and moving from the small currency or a small currency to a bigger currency we divide by the exchange rate now how do we know whether to use bsr or bbr we have to deduce that from the scenario or the instruction from what we have read in the question the very first question he is leaving south africa he is going to italy so we are working with the euro okay because that's the currency they use in italy so we've identified the two currencies we're working with. It's the South African Rand and the Euro. Which of the two is big, which of the two is small, you will then need to slot that into that little diagram that we have there. So let's look at the solution. So what we do here is we take the 50,500, we divide by 17.88. If you look, 17.88 here is the BSR rate. At the end of the day, that gives us 2,824.38 euros, okay? So we are moving from a small currency, which is the South African Rand, to a big currency, which is the Euro. So in other words, that is why we need to divide by this rate, this BSR rate. Now with the second one, he has got 200 Euro, okay? Now we take the 200 euro, we multiply by 17.12. If you look at the table there, 17.12 is the BBR rate. Now that already tells you that with the second one, the financial institution is buying currency from the tourist. Whereas with the first one, they were selling currency to the tourist. So the answer for 3.1.2 would then be 3,428. So we've converted the 200 euros to South African rands and in South African rands, that is how much he will have left. Now, the marks, it says here that this is for three marks. Now, how do you obtain marks for these? You get a mark for using the correct sign. In other words, knowing whether to divide or multiply, you get a mark for that. You get a mark for um, using the correct rate, whether BBR or BSR and you get a mark for um, your answer. So that makes up a total of three marks. And that's it. I hope this was helpful and that it's going to help you with your exam. Please do share your comments in the section and don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share this video. I wish you all the best with your tests and your upcoming exams.